What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another riveting episode here on the Avion Awesome channel. Today we're going to be talking about Barrington Hills RV Resort, located at 9412 New York Avenue in Hudson, Florida. Um, I stayed at this particular RV resort for two weeks, and I'm going to give you the breakdown on what's great, what's not, and all the things in between. Now, as far as the RV resort amenities are concerned, it pretty much has everything that you would expect at one of these uh, Encore Resort parks, uh, clubhouse, a ballroom and banquet hall, lots of activities and games. Uh, they do have a small dog park, and they also have picnic tables, and most of the sites did in fact have a concrete pad for your convenience. All right, so first of all, let's go ahead and give you an idea of where Barrington Hills RV Resort is located in the grander scheme of things. So if we kind of zoom out here, you can see where exactly we're located. And it's right here, just north of Tampa Bay, Tarpon Springs, Palm Harbor, Clearwater Beach, St. Petersburg, roughly about an hour away from Tampa Bay. But as you zoom in, you'll be able to see that you're really close to just about everything. You're maybe a couple of miles from the shoreline. There are plenty of beaches here. There are plenty of water activities to do. You're really close to a Walmart Supercenter. Uh, you're close to plenty of restaurants, all kinds of stuff. There's absolutely nothing that's not available in this area. You have a Publix that's over here just a few miles away plenty of golf and if you're into kayaking and stuff like that the uh, Wikiwachi Springs is just up here uh, a bit north uh, I happen to hang out there did a couple of kayaking trips out in this area including uh, the Green Key which is way out here and it was an absolutely fantastic time I absolutely love this area it's close enough to all the stuff that you would want to have access to but far enough away that you know you feel like you can be uh, a little bit more secluded if you want to. Now, as far as external reviews are concerned, Google rated it at about a 3.8 or so out of 84 reviews. Honestly, that's probably what I would give it as well, somewhere between that and a 3.5. Um, most of these encore resorts are just not the best. They're basically just, you know, parking lots. There's no like outdoorsy or woodsy environment whatsoever in these things. So that's probably what I would have rated it as well. And with all that being said, let's take a look around the park and see exactly what it has to offer. And as we pull in, you can see that the clubhouse and rec center here on the right, along with some overflow parking and tow vehicle parking here on the left. And as per usual, you're going to find most of your activities in and or around the rec center. And as we walk in here, you're going to find the main office on the right. That's also where you're going to pick up your mail and drop off mail if you have any to send. When you walk through the double doors, you're going to find the uh, gathering hall. The, they do a lot of exercise in this room. They have like their dinners and stuff in here. All of the big planned activities happen in this room. Toward the back, you're also going to find a smaller rec room. This particular day, the ladies are doing some crafts. If you go out the back door, this is going to lead straight out to a small picnic area. Heading back out into the main hall, uh, again, like I said, this is where most of the uh, activities happen. This morning, there were a couple of ladies that were doing some uh, Zumba or morning aerobics. I can't remember which it was, but uh, it was really nice to see that. If you hang a quick right here at this door, this is where uh, the pool room is. So they do have a couple of billiards tables back here. I do believe they have like some darts and some uh, card tables. And if we take a quick peek out the back door here, I think this is the Baki Ball area but I'm not for sure next up heading out the back door to the main rec hall you're gonna find the swimming pool area it is a heated pool they said that it was heated up to 84 degrees you're also gonna find a conveniently located drink machine right beside the pool as far as a hot tub is concerned I wasn't aware of one I never saw one uh, it might be on premises but I never got to see one um, but just next door to the swimming pool area you're going to find your shuffleboard courts they have a total of five or six total shuffleboard courts so more than enough so that if there are larger groups of you that want to play and get together or maybe you've made some new friends and you want to play there are lots of courts available and directly in front of the shuffleboard courts you're going to find the mailboxes i think these are mainly used by the permanent residents because all of the transient mail always ended up in the office 
So now let's just take a quick drive down the main drag here so that you can see what exactly the sights look like and what you can expect if you decide you want to stay. And as you see, as with most of the Encore resorts, you are going to have a lot more permanent style structures located in and scattered throughout the park. Um, a lot of these are, again, converted 55 and over communities. So you're going to find a lot more permanent style stuff, including driveways, carports, lawn furniture, ornaments, shrubbery, and stuff like that. And here on the back side of the park is where you're going to find the dog park. Most of the park is in fact really sandy area. So if you're looking for a, a green and lush environment, you're just not going to find it here. Uh, I found it to be adequate as far as the size, being able to run, jump, play, chase balls, frisbees and stuff like that. It was really nice overall kind of shaded just not in the right places overall the sun was beaming right down on top of the bench while i was there but overall it's a great little park just enough to get those yayas out Now right here about midway on the main drag heading into and out of the park you're going to find your laundry facilities and your bathrooms. Now both of the bathrooms are in fact locked with a key code that they will provide to you when you get there. From my experience these bathrooms were not super duper up to date but they were completely functional, uh, well stocked from all the times that I used them but nothing really stand out, nothing really fancy about any of these bathrooms. So. The laundry room is right next door and they open at 8.30 a.m. and stay open till 9 p.m. And nothing really fancy about this laundry facility whatsoever, but they do take multiple forms of payment. They do have plenty of machines available. 
So as you can see, most of the transients are kind of intermingled, intertwined with the permanent residences. Uh, some of these roads are pretty daggone tight to get in and out of. I actually had to have my neighbor across the street when I parked, move his vehicle so that I could actually back my rig in, which was very nice of him, but it is pretty tight on some of these smaller roads. And just for quick reference, this was my campsite. I had to park almost on the street because they're not that deep of uh, campsites, but I did have a concrete pad and I had to request a picnic table after I got there. So there you have it and there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Overall, I enjoyed my time at Barrington Hills, but not necessarily because they had anything that was amazing or stand out as far as features or amenities. It was mainly because of its proximity to interesting and exciting things to do in the area. Overall, I would rate Barrington Hills RV Resort a full seven out of 10 rivets. Thanks again so much for watching yet another riveting episode here on the Avion Awesome channel. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and I'm gonna see you guys again on the next one.